What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. So you can probably uh, see from the video here that the Mustang has been in an accident. Um, it was rented out on Toro. And, you know, yeah, I'm upset that my car was in an accident, but I'm even more upset that the guy left my car sitting in a parking lot, didn't call Toro, didn't call the police, didn't file any kind of report, just left it sitting in a parking lot with no keys. And I was forced to take several hours out of my day to go deal with this and uh, get the car back without any keys to it. So we'll go over some of the damages that I notice first and foremost. Front bumper's toast, it's ripped. Um, you can see this insert, this lower grill insert here has been knocked out. The bumper's ripped apart here, he jumped a really big curb in it. Move over to the fender, you can see the tire. There's significant suspension damage. The tire has been uh, pushed backwards into the fender. It has hit the door. The lower skirting on this side is missing. The front rim has a giant chunk taken out of it right here. The tire has pieces coming out of it. This tire is no good, as you can see right here. And over here, the whole tire has just been chewed up. You can look down here and see parts of the tire coming off. It's just... Toast. Moving back here to the back rim. It's busted as well. Um, I won't know the full extent of the damage for a while. But, uh... For you guys that were thinking about doing Toro, this will be a really good lesson for you guys. We'll find out how their insurance works, if their insurance works. Climb under here, you can see the control arm. Control arm is right there, and it is, it is twisted. Um, it's that big metal piece down at the bottom, it's bowed, it's twisted, the control arm is shot. Uh, we blew the rack and pinion seal. On the passenger side, that's what all this leaking is down here. Um, that is power steering fluid. The seal on this side, which sits behind this uh, right there, sits behind that boot, which is called a bellow. It blew the rack and pinion seal. So the rack and pinion is shot. Whole rack and pinion is going to have to be replaced along with the uh, control arm. Possibly the strut. I don't know for sure if the strut is messed up or not. There may be other damages that we find after we get in here a little bit more. Um, I'm pretty pissed off. I really am. Um, the fender splash guard is missing back there. Obviously, it's it's gone. Um, inside of the car is fine, but it smells like uh, burnt rubber from the tire, I'd assume. He drove it about a mile, maybe a little more, with that tire smashed into the fender like that. So it burned up the tire, and now the whole interior of the car smells like smoke. <sighs> there she is. I got her back. And I guess from here, we, uh, I've already filed a claim through Toro. And uh, I don't know. We'll just have to go from there. These are the risks that you take when you rent your personal car out. But um, Toro is supposed to reimburse me for, you know, all the damages. No out-of-pocket expenses on my end. They did cover the uh, towing. And I want to give a shout-out to Oklahoma Towing and Recovery. Big shout-out to them. Those are about the best people in the business out here and you need a car towed. They were very professional, very quick, you know, very efficient. And I'm very happy with Oklahoma Towing and Recovery. So thank you guys for being professional and... Uh, I know my baby's torn up, but thank you for making sure you didn't do any extra damage. My car is messed up. And uh, this is part one of what's sure to be an interesting series. Because I'm going to update you guys as I am updated with how Toro handles this. Do they reimburse me? Because it's rented out on December 1st. Obviously, it's not going to be drivable by December 1st. So hopefully they'll cover... The loss of income there, and they're also supposed to, I guess, average out the income I, I typically make in a month and reimburse me for each day that the car can't be rented. Um, 
I'm sure they'll take care of the cleaning of the interior and uh, the, the whatever it is to get the smell out of it. Um, at least one tire, two rims, a fender, a bumper. There's going to be paint and prep work, an alignment, a uh, control arm, a rack and pinion. Uh, there's, there's, it's, it's going to be some work, guys. So not only do you get to see how Toro's insurance works, if it works, you're also going to get to see me bring this car back from the dead. So should be interesting. I, I am very upset, but uh, I've pretty much dealt with it throughout the day. It took several hours to get this resolved. Um, that car is my baby. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Now we move forward. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Be safe out there, and do Baron.